there's always light at the end of the tunnel. Let's talk about this. Now, a lot of people upset, a lot of them, because they said the Bears should have got more, which is cool. Trying to do right by Justin, missed out on a little uh, draft capital or whatever, but really check this out, really think about it. What do we always base these moves? When we grab these people, what do we always base it on? Potential. Not the short term, but the long. Well, look at this move for the long term haul. Which is why I'm also, you know, we're not going to be biased. We're going to look at it on both sides. With the Bears, with Keenan Allen, uh, that move showed that they should, they feel like they could win now. Feel like they could win now. So, with that move, with them getting Keenan um, on the last year of his contract, I'm sure they got faith they could extend him. Because to me, I think he got three more good years max. Just my opinion. But, you know, we'll see. His route running and his play and what he did on third and fourth down. We'll see him playing with DJ Moore. Could help him a bit. But I say all that to say, look at this. Short term, this move don't look good for the Bears. We don't have that many picks coming up, but we about to get the greatest quarterback we've seen since some time, prospect. And now the next year is when our picks is going to be coming in. So that's going to be the year to build, especially if we end up having a pretty good year. Oh, that's going to pay off. Or even a bad year. All of it's going to play off, pay off because what it's looking like long term. But that's really talk about the deal. I've been seeing multiple reports that Justin Fields is in line for a $283 million extension, a contract up to that much. Now, I understand there are some reports that, reports that can be flawed, but think about it. He hasn't had the career he wanted to, but look at his numbers. Look at Daniel Jones' numbers. You're going to tell me, for one, Daniel Jones has been better than him, or Daniel Jones, Daniel Jones has been that much better than him. And remember, the market continues to go up. Daniel Jones just got his extension. He got, what, $160 million, uh, for four years? So, with the market going up, Justin in line for at least two that they're going to have to pay him. That they're going to have to pay him. So, long term, I like the Bears to win this trade overall long term. Even if Justin balls out with the, the more he ball out, the better, because then he's going to really demand some money. And the Steelers going to have to get rid of some pieces. With Caleb, we won't have to pay him for at least three, four years. So, you know, and like I said, we had him three years. We've seen it, the progress wasn't – overall, I'm not talking about Justin. I'm talking about the progress overall as a team wasn't going as quite as as we hoped. So, a new regime came in. They made a move. They want to get their guy. But – Stillers is going to have themselves a problem. Yeah, it's all happy celebrations and laughs right now. But in the end, it's really going to be something they're going to have to worry about because they're going to have to pay this man. Everybody is saying it. Russell Wilson is in for... We know Russell Wilson not the long-term answer. His career is, you know, almost wrapping up. Even Stephen A. said it. Justin Fields, the QB of the future. So he's going to have a chip. He's sitting on the bench... Fields is going to come in with a chip. He's going to want to ball out. They defense and they team, they're going to win some ball games. It's the Steelers. <clears throat> so the more winning they're doing, the more he'll be in for a contract extension <clears throat> when he get on that field. So when that happens, that's when it's going to begin. In the end, Ryan Poles is going to win this trade. We lost on the Chase Claypool. We, we lost that one. We... I mean, at the time, it wasn't a bad trade, talent-wise. Claypool should have been that. And then you look at what they got in return, which is a, a pretty damn good corner they drafted. So we lost that one. Don't even try to argue that one. But this one right here, the Bears is going to win this trade in the end, and trust me, and, and, and that's a big reason why. If Justin get up to that projected deal, that's a problem they have, especially if the Bears win on their end. And then, you know, it all depends on also who we're going to draft with that sixth or fourth pick. Especially if we can get us a, a nice, decent stud or a pretty solid player. I love I love what we're doing that track. The Bears, 
is going to win that trade, and it looks best for us. It looks for good for the Steelers short term, but long term, it looks great for us. Like, share, subscribe if you're new. We out. Let me know what you think.